Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be starting Life is Strange Episode 5, Polarized. Um, I'm a few weeks late on this. The day that it came out, I was actually going on vacation, so I didn't get to play it right away, and it killed me so bad. I wanted to play it right away, but, um, so I had to wait patiently until I got back, and, um, so I'm really excited to see how this game is going to end. It has been a crazy adventure, and I, I don't want it to end, really, but um, I'm excited to see how this is all going to play out. Um, I'm, I imagine it's going to be really intense. I don't know what's going to happen, but uh, let's just go ahead and get started. Previously right, on Life here is we Strange. Go. What did you find? Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. We can't trust anybody except each other. You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all I think teenagers. that was a mistake. <laughs> oh, look. The Wonder Twins. What are you doing in my dorm? You are so fucking dead! <sighs> Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. <sighs> Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. What are you doing here, Max? Victoria has to be next. What a lame gimmick. Rachel, why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Ugh. <sighs> is in serious danger. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Oh god, Max, look. And then Mr. Jefferson comes She's in. She's still there. Oh, no. Chloe. How? What the fuck? Mm, Chloe. Alright, so... I... I'm thinking we're going to end up continuing right from where that preview at the end of episode 4 was. He was holding that needle and walking over to us, so I'm thinking that's where it's going to continue from. Yeah, so it looks like we're in the bunker at that farm. This is so messed up. How the fuck are we gonna get out of this? For real. strange polarized is that ju just uh, duct tape that should be fairly easy to get out of on here. Chloe? What? Where? Oh, it's a dark room. Oh, Victoria! Oh my god! Victoria, wake up! Is anybody out there? Don't yell, Max. Please, help! Cat. 
hatch. Can't we hatch? Help! Somebody help me! Victoria, wake up! Wake up! Ah, oh, crap. Oh, we can pull almost this over with our foot. See what we got here. What can we use to get out of here? I hate looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. Oh, we can use that photo. I promised I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. I mean, I guess it's the only option we have, but it kind of seems like um, we wouldn't really be able to do anything. Oh, that's all right. I had it. This angle highlights your purity, see? The slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing, just pure expression. So fucked up. Christ, look at that perfect face. Hold that stare there! Stay still! Jesus. Never would have thought him acting like this. Makes you wonder about people. Oh, Max! You fucked up my shot! But please don't worry. We have all the time in the world. For now. I knew you were special the second I saw your first selfie. Yes. I still hate that word. But I love the purity of your own image. Not like Rachel, who was always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Wait. Let me try this angle. Don't move! Oh. <sighs> Much better. Thanks, Max. If only Nathan could see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows and an eye for a whole lot more. As his elite family will find out. Is he dead? Along with Arcadia Bay. Nice. Oh, good. Oh, those eyes. Creepy. It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24-7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone. And you fell right into my hands. You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Chloe. Chloe, right. Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed it, that Nathan killed her in self-defense. But she had a troubled history like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Oh, fuck this guy. Be surprised or care. Though I promise, people will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay. Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Maybe 
A new dose will calm you down. Yeah, see, what can we do here? Now don't move, or this will hurt much. Oh, shit. Oh, we spilled this stuff. Bitch! Ha! You just don't listen, do you? Made a man. In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. God damn, you are a fighter, though. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. I'm sick of hearing him talk. God. Remember my number one rule. Always take a shot. Okay, so we spilled that stuff. Ruined his folder? What did that do for us? <laughs> oh, Jesus. I can't believe that happened. So sick. Victoria, are you awake? Can we talk to her? Max, can you hear me? Max. Oh God, where, where are we? Oh, what's happening? You've been drugged like Kate and me. Do you remember how you got here? No, I don't know. Wait, you warned me. You warned me about Nathan. Then I went to Jefferson for help, and he was acting so weird. That's the last thing I remember. And I can't move my hands. Uh, help me, Max. Please. I'm sorry for everything. Listen carefully. Mark Jefferson kidnapped us. He's using Nathan as well. Jefferson is very dangerous, so we have to get out of here before he comes back. Max. I just can't believe this is real. I don't want to die like this. You're not going to die. I'm only 18. Um. I have a plan. Victoria, please listen. I have a plan. Really? How? Max, I'm so scared. So am I. But we don't have time to be scared. We have to fight back. Now. Max. I can't even move my arms. How are we supposed to fight? I'm not going to let that asshole get away with this. I just, I need you to be strong. I can't do this alone. We need to act while we're clear-headed. If he doses us again, we'll forget everything. I'm not strong, Max. Look at me. Look what I did to Kate Marsh. Now she's in the hospital, and I'm here. We're both here, okay? I just can't believe this is happening. That Jefferson would do this to me, to us. Victoria, we will find a way to escape. I promise. Max, I believe you. Okay. Let's look at this photo. Whoa. I I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. This might work. Please work. I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Yes, Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. She's on the couch. You're the winner, Max. 
I choose you. Your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here. Replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? Oh, Max. I'm so glad you asked that question. Uh, simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment. Innocence evolves into corruption. It's fucked up. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura. And those lucky few become my models, my subjects. Yes, you're a psychopath. And this is your last session. Au contraire, Max. I'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now. As you can see, sleeping beauty here is too harsh for my gentle lens. And don't get me started on your late partner. I had enough of those faux punk sluts in my Seattle days. Go to hell, fucker. Go to hell. You will for everybody you've hurt. Unlike pure sweet Kate Marsh, I don't believe in that bullshit. She could have been my masterpiece. The world is what an artist makes it. And my muse. Hmm. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. God, I hate your That's what I now. say. Jeez. You might as well savor it, considering it's the last you'll hear. Oh, <laughs> that struck a nerve. Your face changed color. Beautiful. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. Too bad you already made a convincing argument against Nathan in the principal's office. Thank you so much for setting him up for me. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. You used Nathan. I prefer the term manipulated. Like with an image. Nathan's was easy to twist around. I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access. To the Prescott fortune, who do you think paid for this glorious dark room and equipment? How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh. Rachel Amber. Hm. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Oh, that's what happened. Chloe and Rachel. You killed both of them. They're fucking together in heaven oh right now. Oh my god. Is that what you want to hear? Why? 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 Start listening to me, you dumb cunt. Jesus Christ. I'm sorry, Max. <laughs> that was not cool. He's fucking anyway. crazy. Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You're good because you stopped your friend from beating Nathan up. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No, you didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. Oh. For Chloe and Rachel and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here by your own choice. Anyway, 
I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came out. Okay. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. What do I do? I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. Okay. Okay. Wait! Please, Mr. Jefferson. Max, I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures. Especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. My diary. You... You still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh. Look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. Oh, I will. You can do so much better. I will look at it, bitch. And I'll go back in time. So are we going, like, all the way back? Like, all the way back? To the classroom? Looks like it. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in oh, a moment of desperation. Go. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb I'm word back. for a wonderful photographic trick. Right back where I started this insane week. And nobody course, is going to hurt Chloe know, ever again. The portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process. The Daguerrean process. Ooh, oh, that well, tone. That was easy, Max. Was it? Okay. <laughs> well, uh, she's getting saucy. Okay so, uh, the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear, defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Obviously, Max has read them. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo when the everyday time heroes to change time. The winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the first. Artwork. Let's make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. And Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. <laughs> okay. So I have to warn David about Jefferson and the dark room. Um, I should be able to track down David's number from the school pamphlet. Okay. Yeah, we don't care about Found him anymore. You. Do I need to remember that number? Two, four, three. For once, David, I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else <laughs> and take Jefferson down fast. Okay. You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco. And Jefferson, you'll be going to prison. Ah, oh, shit. The past oh, shit. within the past. Am I pushing myself too hard? Eh, probably, but oh well. Wait. It doesn't matter, Victoria. 
It's nice to know how you really feel. My phone is dead and I'm bored. Time to bust out my posy. Why did I give up the word for the image? Because I suck. But Mark Jefferson rules. Everybody in here loves him, but he only seems to care about Max C. I want to hate her, but she wouldn't care. Envy is a sin. Get over yourself. Okay. Well, I don't think any of this stuff really matters now. If only I could tell the whole class about Jefferson and watch him squirm. But I better let David take care of everything. Does that still say the same thing? Yeah. Wait. This is the last time somebody bullies you, Kate. Comfort. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hey, Max. Kate, listen to me. I am. Always remember that you're not alone. I've got your back no matter what happens. So do a lot of other people. We all care. We're all here for you. You need to know that. Max, that makes me feel so blessed for the first time this week. Nah. I, I don't know what to say. That's okay. Neither do I. Maybe we could both use a hug. Oh, I'm gonna cry. So Thanks. sweet. You always know the right thing to do. All right. Oh, Rachel. I'm sorry. I wonder if there's any, uh, pictures? Let me see. Wait. There we go. Episode 3, episode 5. Not really sure. Oh, there. <laughs> I saw Kate, so I figured I might as well check. Aw, she looks so happy. She looks so much happier. Okay. Well, let's go talk to him. Mm. Mr. Jefferson? We need to talk. Uh. Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? Yes, I see. But maybe you shouldn't. Uh, and why not? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? I will be when Victoria understands that hiding behind a screen, posting videos of people is incredibly cruel and unfair. You're smart enough to know how easy it is to hurt somebody, to destroy their life. I just want you to think about how much it would hurt if somebody did that to you. You can always make the right choice, Victoria. I know you've got a good heart. I've seen it. Listen, I... I didn't... You don't have to explain. There's no reason for you to be so insecure that you can't be happy with your own talent. Wouldn't it be better to lift people up than to bring them down? You could inspire people. Okay, <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about now, do I, Mr. Jefferson? I think I should stay out of this one, Victoria. <laughs> then I guess I'm done talking. Okay. And that's okay, too. Bye. <laughs> All right. Now you. That was kind of random, Max. What did you mean? Your fucking Here's business. my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. I love her tone. She's so saucy. Oh, uh, <laughs> that was easy. No. It wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh, I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me. And Blackwell, the, the first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be innocent. Or guilty. Uh, well, <laughs> thanks for the photo. And maybe both of us will be jet-setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or maybe only one of us will be going. Whoa. Don't be so modest, Max. <laughs> Anything can happen in a week. As you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson. 
Ooh, damn. Oh, man. Okay, so... Did we save her? Okay. So we're still friends, I guess. He's eating breakfast. They found the dark room. And they are arresting Mr. Jefferson and Nathan. And Kate, I'm assuming, is still alive. There's Rachel Amber's body, I'm assuming. I won the contest, and Victoria's pissed, <laughs> and Chloe is alive, and we're hanging out, and I'm packing, and taking a taxi somewhere. Whoa! Uh, on a plane. Oh, we must be going to San Francisco. What we okay. do? You're okay, Max. You're safe. On a plane. Okay, so we're with I the principal. I hope we did everything right this time. <clears throat> Good work, David. <laughs> Chloe, oh, you're alive. Oh, you're alive. I did it. I fixed everything. No way. That was what way was too there? easy. to be in between realities. Everything is out of focus and in the distance. Uh, I can't wait to land in Frisco. Uh, nobody We're comes. almost in San Francisco. I'm so stressed, but I'm so excited too. It's the beginning of the end for Jefferson and the Prescotts. Two Moon Diner, amid all the envi environmental crisis chaos in Arcadia Bay, such as the unseasonal seasonal snowfall in beached whales, some residents reported seeing two full moons last night around 8 p.m. Witnesses claimed the double moons were clear in the night sky until clouds covered them up shortly after they appeared. No cell phone or video footage has surfaced yet, which has led local meteorologists to believe that imaginations are over in overdrive due to the recent eco-havoc. Blackwell security uncovers bunker and scandal. Acting on a series of tips from David Matson, police officers descended Tuesday on a bizarre underground chamber allegedly used by teacher Mark Jefferson and student Nathan Prescott to drug kidnap and photograph young women. Although there were no other signs of physical or sexual assault on the victims, the disturbing revelations have sent shockwaves through the tranquil city of Arcadia Bay. Even Trump Prescott, the most powerful businessman in the area, is under investigation for his role as owner of the farmhouse where the high-tech darkroom studio was located. Aw, I haven't seen Hot Dog Man in forever. Hot Dog? <laughs> Chloe and I used to totally play the video game and watch him all the time when we were innocent. I have to admit, I love being called an artist. Please fasten your seat and stow any electronic gear until the plane is on the ground and at the gate. Thank you. We're starting our descent in a few minutes. It's a beautiful day in San Francisco with clear skies and cool 60 degrees. We hope you enjoyed your trip and we thank you very much for choosing Pacific West Air. Come fly with us anytime. Uh, I don't think so. I'm hoping 
These airline seats get smaller, so I won't have to fly at all anymore. <laughs> How did you sleep? Hope I wasn't snoring out loud, Max. Just a bit. It's been a tough week at Blackwell. So I hope you'll forgive me. Between Mr. Jefferson and Prescott's, things have been hectic, to say the least. I totally get it, Principal Wells. That's a smart way of telling me to stop whining. We are proud of you for representing Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes Contest. I know I'm not exactly the guy you wanted in San Francisco, but we all want you to have a great experience here. I already am, and we're not even there. Goddamn nosebleeds. Oh, Christ. Another nosebleed? Max, you're not just screwing around with time. Okay, um, we've arrived. San Francisco is so cool, and this gallery is huge. So is the buffet. If an event skimps on the food, you know it's a bad event. As long as I don't have to eat any caviar. This is your day, Max. You can do whatever you want. I hope you take advantage of your status and talk to as many influential people here as possible. Work the room. I don't know. I'm, I feel so weird, like I'm a little kid hanging with the adults. Max. After this week, you are certainly not a little kid anymore. In fact, you're a noteworthy adult being honored by your peers. Now you have to start acting like the photographer you want to be. Hell, I wanted to be in charge of a big school someday. So I started taking charge of things when I was young. <laughs> Ask my poor classmates. Max, I'm gonna eat up that caviar so you don't have to. I better get in there and start schmoozing. You know, I won't always be here to take charge. But you come talk to me whenever you want. Come on, Max. After everything that's happened, this should be the least scary thing you've ever done. All right, I think I'm going to end that there and take a little break. But I will see you in the next video um, where we will continue and see what's going to happen. Because that was way too easy. There's no way that uh, it's gonna end like that. So if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye. Oh shit, oh my head. What is going on now? It feels like reality is breaking Yeah, apart. I'm fucking everything up. What am I doing to time? I just have to make one simple change so I won't end up in San Francisco.